get noticed out of trouble. They have a scythe coming on Class's courier as well. It's on its Dyer's way. Middle Dark tower Willow. Is under Mira attack. in far. They have great vision though. Ogre Seal Totem looking forward. Catches only one with the fear. Now Kiritin shows up, finds Mira immediately onto him. Yadaro dies, but the Cataclysm is the damage. It's almost enough, and it is. But it assembles the Aeon Disc, but the stun is going to be there. On to three, one of them. Above, and now the Hex on to both of them. Connection, the fear starts to fall lower and lower and lower. They're going to throw out all their damage, but it's not enough to take down Yadaro. Yadaro standing tall, streaming forward, finding another kill. He backs out Squad X and Kiritin. They got to get out of here. There's only a couple left, and they can only. Anchor down, they connect onto him. Anchor down, leashed up, starting to fall. Kiritich, nowhere else to go as the tornado is gonna kill him all. Laurel with the triple kill and no buybacks. Oh, they're slowly whittling down in that fight. It was getting a little bit scary, I gotta say. Kiritich, seconds. They get the dead shot, connection. Now, last tier three tower alive, stepping forward on to notice, down to half HP, Kiritich jumps forward, starts to bring him low, will it be enough? No, the Terrorize is there, they have their answer. Fear pushes back Yadaro, but the stun, the Ravage, the Cataclysm times two! It's too pretty, double Ravage, double Gata, keep looking for more. Notice is about to fall again, he's gonna come back in a green light, but then there's not a whole lot left in the tank. Maposhka still hasn't been hit, that is Mega Creep. Team Spirits, the favorites coming in, a triple kill as they taunt their way towards the victory. How long can you wait here is the question, right? You've already waited quite a long time. And the one smoke move you made... Oh, okay. hang on, there we go. God's trying to use everything on to collapse like a flame. Oh my destroying God. it! Think it gets deleted! And now DJ puts himself on the cliff, pulling an Arteezy! Oh dear, he's completely surrounded now. And it just feels like it's inevitable. He will fall in the end. Two for nothing. And oh, it's not over yet. rolling over Liquid. And that's going to be another chop to collapse. Oh, yeah. to get an additional like utility item like a Glimmer Cable, whatever. Uh, he's doing a lot of work with just what he has, so... Yep. Oh, oh he Phantasm oh. into death. Oh, okay. we go. Okay, Soulbind is there as well, it looks like, but Beast is going to DKB skewer away. Collapse comes in for another kill onto Zai. Not even much needed, really. It's just too easy, you know? Like, Radiance when's the last tower. time Liquid actually got a kill in this game? I feel like it's been... We haven't even seen a dead in the water yet. That's true. That skill is dead in the water. Mickey comes in with the Gotra. He's giving up kick out one. But that's just the Aegis. And he kick out collapses toe as well as the Egg is continuing to go out. Will get the stun off. And he is reborn. Mickey, not so much though. And it looks like Liquid are starting to crumble now. Nice to spell. Now, oh, the RP actually puts them onto the high ground. And there's the buyback from Moer. It's going to be able to pop that ult as well to so do significant damage. But I don't there from Laura. Not going to do too much of effect here. We've already lost three on the side of Liquid as Yotaro limping away. Roche is up in two to five minutes. Wonder if Spirit are Absolutely. looking at high ground right here. Which is okay. Well, call Yotaro comes in again. Do they have enough to get him? It's Ravage, but he dies shortly after. Does have buyback though. He's going to stick. He's going to use that buyback right now. Mickey coming in. He's going to be able to delete Mirror to start this fight. His collapse is being chased now. The egg doing a massive amount of damage with that summary applied as well. Beautiful try from Mirochka. But a nice RP is coming in. So very soon is Nisha. It's a decent amount of damage, but now can they do enough? Skewer back with the anchor applied. And another call comes in, though. And Jataro and everybody is super low. Collapse somehow lives. Meteor Hammer of all things causes the death of Jataro. And Laurel keeping out. On the other side of the tree line, he will be a radiant go. of scanning. Will they find each other though? As Roche, we Collapses can see will be up in the third and second here. That shield room, he's gonna get the initiation off onto the spend with the sunray coming in from the egg as well. This Nisha looking for the RP potential, he's gonna be able to skewer a couple away. So much to follow, there's the right click to commence, but McKay is extremely low. He will fall. The anchor comes out along with the ravage as well. But that's a dead Nisha, already two cords dead for Liquid. And this is looking very, very bad for them as I stuck between a bunch of brambles will eventually be brought down as well. Three for nothing, make it four as that chop potentially brings this game to an end. Or something. Yeah. Collapse wants to steal the wisdom rune here. That'll be a pretty big steal. He's pinging it out. He has perfect vision Dyer's of this, so. It will be the scan Dyer's coming out from Liquid. Oh, he's it will be too late. Fight. Actually, he didn't. Okay. He did not go for it. He wants Insania instead. Crippling here now onto two. They can get the primal split, man. They can do it. He cannot get off his ult. 50 seconds dead for Zai. That is a huge ultimate not available for the side of Liquid. They're going to lose Grip Stroke, though, to start things out. 
Misha getting pursued. Only at half HP, oh, taking so much man. damage. Weaver just rips a maneuver, but Laurel dies shortly after. Lots of trades on both sides. Laura popping the BKB. Sunstrike not going to clip. The Ghost Scepter's this there for Boxy, but <laughs> we'll eventually die. Nice TP from Law as well. He TP'd the moment the Basher stopped proccing, because then he has a very high chance right. of not getting a second bash on him, so he did get out of that one, but quite a funny oh, coming up soon. Collapse wants to take a fight. They're trying to apply all their pressure to the Spectre. They don't have the break with them right now. As Mira taking the brunt of damage from Misha on this ring. He's pop his BKB. He wants to finish off the Evoker. He does so successfully. Now that's an instant buyback from him. As Nisha, only with one smoke screen to go. Collapse is trying to bash him down. He will do so. They will buy him back immediately, though. Now, continuing on the fight, Boxy dies inside that kinetic field. Mickey trying to apply some pressure to Laurel. He's already had health, but there's the break. And they finish off the Spectre, but no. Not going to be enough damage. At least not yet, but jumping in is Collapse to try to finish the job. But there's the Manta style, keeping him alive. Yatara, though, very healthy, will claim the kill for himself. Now focusing on Zai, whose primal split is already down. Barely lives for the last Gemini to attack. Big Sunstrike coming out. Double kill for Yatoro. And just like that, I mean, effectively it's a 4v3 right now, but there were some buybacks coming out. It's a dieback on Ricky. Nisha's game really starting to go Heading down. Heading back to the their half of the map. LGD, they're trying to chase. The cooldowns are all coming back up, though. Meta is still on cooldown for about 30 seconds. Oh, right. at the ready. Skira, up. He's, he's looking. to get the pullback into the stun. We'll see Lost throw down the boat. The defensive disruption's there to try and help Yatoro out of the combo. But the fallout stone comes in. Jump board. The Toro's coming. He gets his thunder. Yatoro right out the side. Yatoro, he's able to get back on the full HP. Shira's trying to DB out the BKB. RP. He gets caught by the RP for collapse. Shira's going to be going down. They've lost the ZK for 85 seconds. New surrounded here by Lala. And collapse the tunnel. We're pulling it back over towards collapse. In the river, nothing can save. Matty to finish off Mira, but right they're new. losing two of their cores. Shiro and you taken down. They keep Yotaro up. He gets oh. the thunder. Well, nothing to say. We'll manage to get out of that one. But why? Looks like he won't. I mean, they were so close to potentially being able to burst Yotaro at the beginning of that fight, but I think sort of the straight target. Yeah, when he says, <laughs> how to use the BKB and so that reduced attack range. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's something. I don't think I've ever seen more player use Mira. Oh. It's jump here. He's got the EM disc at the ready. He can continue to follow this up on the side. Oh, Maybe he's, he's gone. Jumps. Maybe they can find more here as Mira also take a heavy damage from the illusion. They what an angle. The was low, low. Get the torrent storm on the BKB. I'm trying to step back. The torrent is needed in the midst of the fight. The torrent storm needed to throw him up. Big RP. The RP locked down and the Zen take him. Nothing to say now. They've taken out you. No buyback available for nothing to say. And he's out for two minutes. Yatora also able to buy They get Shiro as well. Uh, they don't have buybacks. They don't have buybacks. 50 seconds until Shiro's is back up. And, and nothing to Maybe say, he's not even got the money, even attack. if it was back then. You try to hold them out. He's in with the uh, He's doing a pretty good job. There from Mira, buys a charge for Yatora. He's just dead. He's just dead. What the? Goodness. He's keeping this game alive here for the score collapse. He's trying to find Planet for the bleak out. The Dark Fortress. The Dark Fortress done the damage. Down, on the side of LGD. They have got the Ags done on Shiro. They do. So an extra way to sort of disrupt the initiation front spirit. If I mean, new is... Illusions pumped out. New is in already. He's wrapping right around the back. Pump the Shiva's guard. You tore up. this. They're they're planet. planet. They found the Grimstruck. Planet's out of the fight. Fire back right. straight away. You see here, New and Shira still trying to see if they can wrap around from the side. But the Book of the Dead, it's out upon them, kind of stopping them from being able to lead them in the way that they want to. Shira, Shira, they found him. Shira gets the drag back, straight away into the RP, full focus over towards the gas down, they're taking Shira down. Shira off for two minutes, buy back on cooldown, the chaos. They found him, Collapse, he gets another, the second round, ready to go. Everyone, nothing to say, nothing to say, pop the BKB, trying to TP out of this one, but you're trying to summon it. Triple kill for your door, and nothing to say goes down. Instant buyback for the team. Hero on, on the side of LGD throughout this entire game. One minute until Shira has his. Okay. Zora X marked up, jumps in to get a bit of information. Big boom. X back. Ice blast won't connect. We collapse. He will. He will, he will connect on two. You get Shira, drags them back in the other. The phantasm's there for Shira, dodges the RP. Doesn't matter that the damage coming out for your time. Two damn hard. As you've taken out, Shira in trouble. They chase on towards it. The Yule set up there. Got He'll get the chip up, but it doesn't matter. You're talking with the aggressive Sunder. Helps to bring Shiro down a second time. He's out of the game. 95. Buyback still on cooldown here for the Chaos Knight. And Collapse, he's got the refresher at the ready, so he can't. the side of it. He's in the jump of the league because he's there. He's able to Darn. fade away from the initial attempt from LGD, but still no RP. Nothing they drags him back towards the rest of the team there. They've bring got him. Down. Team is coming up and spraying the bottom. But he was a fallback. Tidal wave there. Pulling them back. The fear fall as well. Straight down onto nothing.
to say the Magnus will fall. Here comes Collapse. The reality retracts back Shira. They fully focus the Spectres. The Torp follows there for a while. Double kill for Collapse. A spirit, they'll lose your Torp, but they make the up the pay. They'll find a third. Triple kill for Collapse. Give they him the four. They chase our planet. Ultra kill in 23 minutes in for Collapse on the CK. <laughs> He's a move over, Yotoro. I'm the real carry. Uh, Yotoro pushing the pushing the limits there on the morph. Incredibly low HP, but the four-man tidal wave. May get wiped and lose the Roshan fight, and they are not doing this fast enough. Gaming Gladiators are going to get here, and it looks like Team Spirit have made the right read. They're going to smoke, backing themselves away. See if they can find the opening on Gaming Gladiators oh, instead. Out position, but it's a ward. On the high ground, BKB immediately goes out. Now he has to turn and chase, but he's not going to be close enough. Team Spirit got something big out that of him, root, but they do hit well. That's going to be able to hit all those heroes. The RP took me so down the two heroes. They jumped into the RP. Tarachi dies immediately. Oh, Tarachi, he's going to no. have to do all the damage from here on out, but the Rolling Thunder is dangerous. It slows him down with the badges, and the Rolling Thunder hits, and there's no chance. And now now they leave Quinn. Yeah, trap him inside that chronosphere. His BKB is gone. Get the rest. Oh, it's Game of Gladiators who had an opportunity there to be able to upset. But now, just what they feared the most, which was losing a fight and giving the Roshan to Team Spirit. And Team Spirit able to disengage after that Wrath of Nature top. rooted them all, which means Toro wants to go back He's in. got an opening here. Looks for it with the Chronosphere. They were so grouped up on Gaming Gladiators, but he doesn't have the vision. He's now been grabbed. He's been time the dilated. Disabled. They actually have that AoE. The calling goes out. He's on the other side. He actually gets away. Thanks well. Time walk undo so much of the damage. And now Gaming Gladiators have to play it a little bit slow. Have to respect that Soulbind. They cleanse themselves of the Ghost. That Silence is now gone. The Soulbind is away. Oh, Toro, no. He's still waiting for his opportunity to get that Chronosphere. He got three. Down two, three. One in the back, two in the front, and that's going to be the Aegis down for the morph, like a second life for both him and Ace, though. Can Yotoro fight through this one? Is he going to be able to get away? The shotgun room, the entangle as well. That's enough. They bring down the carry. Now for the rest, Team Spirit. Playing back into this one, they the Ace well. Now it's Cure locking them together. Whoa, maybe he can fight this one out. Durachu, waveforms over it, trying to separate from his team a little bit. Make sure this Wash Buckle doesn't evidently detonate them like it does Tofu. But in the back lines, Ace trying to chase down the Rock Buckle. Now he him out, but Durachu dies as Snarl. He does manage to finish him off just on the very tip. Just Collapse. enough to be able to get that kill before he falls. Collapse tries to skewer away, but locked down by Quinn in the end. Cannot escape. So the end fight is going to be nice, but. I mean, the Wraith King Axe is great versus the Ults. It's just a question of can you do anything with like the five seconds you have afterwards, right? They're actually gonna man up. They're gonna jump onto this base's point, see if they can burst him down. Once again, there's that Inkswell Hard Dispel. Oh, it's a time one. An attempt collapse. He turns around, gets that RP on the two of them, locking down Dorachi and finishing him off. And now Ace is gonna come back into this with not much support. With no Quinn, they knew they had the numbers advantage, and they take the fight in the game in Gladiators no matter the cost. He gets to jump away. Four staff helps him out, but it's not far enough. There is nowhere you can go. The collapse in Yutoro cannot follow. Yutoro now. No MKB in sight. You're gonna have to do this the hard way. Dyer's Just charge in and fall. hope it goes your direction. Checking it out, seeing who's TPing in. Toro with the Lincolns. He's got an extra life. He's got a BKB in his backpack for that second life. Oh, and he's got an opportunity from Collapse. Old Celery out of position. All right. Raggio gonna try and use that faceless void form to be able to help out, but the Chronos here goes to work. The old Scepter not actually grabbing the real one. The is still up, and he finishes off the Morph like so easily. And now the RP gets the other two cores. Team Spirit so clean. The extra ghosts come out from the Wraith King, but he doesn't really do anything. Ace just pops the BKB on the second life. They do manage to get another pick here on his salary. He tries to jump forward. They've got nothing left in the tank on Gaming Gladiators. They are all gonna fall. They're gonna throw their damage around. The Chiefs actually getting popped as Collapse got a little bit low, but in the foul, Marl goes. Oh, He's gonna rampage. Toro, a rampage, maybe a double. No, no, Tofu's gonna deny him that. They're gonna call the GG, unless pulled back in. No, this one is a in second the rampage to finally He's just running in there. This is a fight without Yatoro. Ooh, that ward somehow slips past detection. Oh, no, 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 he's got it. Brace Lincoln gets him with the dispel on the old scepter, but it is going to cost celebrating his life. He does have a buyback. He's going to play for it. Quinn off the mark there with his blink in, trying to hit some heroes, but they've already popped their BKBs and are resetting a little bit. Celery, he's going to try and walk back into this fight. He's got to be careful, though. He may get caught by Collapse. He spots Shut him. Down the enemy again. The tower. Yeah, that ancient apparition's gone. No more ice blast for you to be able to use. Ace has to use his ultimate. He knew the Toro was gunning for him there, and he could have been chain stunned up. Now they 
back away. Primal Split being used. If they can get everybody out, it's a dream for Team Spirit. Collapse is making that momentum, though. Pushed back by the Void Panda. Now hit by the Orchid. If they can kill Collapse, that'd be great. But he has so many dispels and so many heals. Spirit turn. jumping in, going for the back line. The Pango's been caught, and Yatoro, he destroys him so instantly. Now turns his damage onto Zoraji. Oh, Spot back by Collapse. A charge on through Tofu. He just managed to get the board tap down to low ground. Does get a dead shot onto Collapse, but he's still pretty damn healthy, and they can't turn this one around. It is all Team Spirit, and they will feast on the Brewmaster lad. Team fight decision making just off the charts here. I mean, the kiting dealing with the ult, they just make it look way too easy right now. And so many charges going through from Collapse. He is looking can't get caught. Otherwise, that is welcoming Team Spirit into your base. Charge complete, half his health. Yule Scepter is going to be used nicely breaking with that Lincolns, but he didn't use that Bulldoze towards the end there. And these are just free. They have the ways to get Collapse out every time. There's a Lincolns, there's a Swell, there's Four Staffs, Grave. Bull's going to take his chance to post. Amazing first down. Oh, man! Before you can even complete the sentence, he's already gone. They do have an Ice Blast, though. That's pretty well positioned. Duraggio's already cleaned up the Grimstroke. It's not too bad, but Duraggio, he needs to get out of there. And, oh, my God, that's so much. Five back for the Spectre. It's too much damage. Spectre has to win this now. But he has to be to that something. Dazzle. They have to be able to take away this Aegis at the bare minimum. Surely they have to go for more. They have to risk it. The lap's going to charge on through to make sure you can't sit up on Yutora. Now Yutora will turn back around on you. He's ready for that fight. He pulls back into Durantio. This could be it for Gaming Gladiators. And let's find a way out of it. Quinn's dead next. Now Durantio, a dive back for him. He falls. Tofu's pulled back in. He is pulled to his death, down into his grave. Quinn, last man standing for Gaming Gladiators. It will be a one-man stand against...